Baldwin County has been busy with construction across the county, but some folks want to see signs of progress on certain projects, including a new county pool and an animal shelter. Avery Braxton found out how close pups and kittens are into moving into their new home. He joins us now in studio with an update. Frank, we previously reported that Baldwin County would likely have their new animal shelter prepared by this summer. Now it looks like that new space may still be a ways off. We've just outgrown this space. Um, the, the building is old and it needs updating. That's Pause for Change Baldwin founder Pam Peacock talking about the Baldwin County Animal Shelter. The shelter was due for a new home in June, the old Baldwin County Jail. We need to be updated as far as when we are going to move in. Um, if it's not June, we need to know when. County Manager Carlos Tobar says the county moved forward with renovations to the jail, including a new HVAC system. But initial cost estimates came up at $143,000 of their $220,000 budget. Then I started doing other research and I found ultraviolet sanitation technology, which PetSmart uses at their boarding facilities, as do other boarding facilities, and it's far more cost effective to the tune of about $4,000 total. At one point, the county considered building a whole new building instead before settling on the jail again. Baldwin County is now on their third layout plan for the animal shelter. Initially, they wanted one of their quarantine rooms to be on this end of the animal shelter, but a contract recommendation says instead that quarantine room should be on this wall so that they can access the sewer line on the outside of the building. The jail should be able to house around 30 dogs. That's nearly double the current capacity and will include other upgrades. Rumors had arisen that the county was making a $2 million pool priority over the shelter, but Tobar put that to rest. The pool itself would be about $750,000, plus you have to add, add the cost for the restrooms. Um, and keep in mind that we only have a $2 million line item for all of recreation in this current spot. Tobar said that's if the Baldwin County School District partners with them. But one project isn't taking priority over the other. Tobar says they're moving forward with both projects as fast as they can. Aside from the other projects that got reprioritized and moved up the list, uh, we've been working on these projects simultaneously. Now those other projects he mentioned include fixing hazards to the senior center and improvements to the county airport so it can potentially be used as a flight school. Frank, back to you. All right, thank you, Avery. Carlos Tobar also said he plans to submit the layout for the animal shelter to county commissioners July 2nd. He says best case scenario would be completion this fall.